everyone. It seems like we are in a little bit of an interesting project here. Uh, what we're doing is we're going to be replacing this coolant tank. This is a JAG XFR. So into your hand just like this and set it somewhere safe up here and then disconnect the connector just like so leave it out of the way and you want to disconnect bit to give you a little more room to get it to be the highest point so that you don't lose tons and tons of coolant and then you disconnect this and switch it over to the new tank um, now because of what I'm seeing there of heat and cracking and that's the reason I'm replacing this um, I'm actually going to put uh, underneath that area um, along this front side I'm actually going to put some thermal insulation. Uh, let's see if that works. So, um, yeah, thank goodness the new one is all clean and shiny and ready to go in. It's also the same part, which is important. Do yourselves a favor when you do this and clamp the hose like that. Grab that spring clamp with uh, vice grips or something that walks because um, they're a little different style clamp. Um, and that should get you all ready. To release that hose, then you can actually drain the coolant from this tank into the new tank once you swap that hose over and you want to leak out the bottom. You'll save most of the mess of your driveway. You'll get a little water at a little couple places, but it won't be that bad. And uh, yeah, then you switch over the, the uh, boil over tube and you're good to go. With the tank insulated in such a way as to protect it from especially a lot of the heat that's going to gather at the front i can do a lot more and get a lot more progress very quickly and then you just swap them back in using that method i have the hose transferred over and a few drips of coolant that's it no pool no wetness down there of any sort Let's see if i can get it to focus there totally bone dry down there and down there so just a couple splashes and uh, now we just reconnect the electric connector, drop it back in. Again, being very careful about the connector at the back, the black one there, so that you have it in at an angle. You kind of slot it, slot this guy, the coolant tank, into that, and then shut it. Um, and yes, we can still see the cold fill zone. Um, so hopefully this will prevent the same sort of cracking and de degradation that we've had in this one because um, the heat has really treated this poorly. So um, we'll see how well that goes. But yeah, you can see where um, there was a lot of cracking and things going on there. So make sure to use genuine JAG parts. Save yourself the headache. Um, it's only like a hundred bucks for this particular coolant tank. Um, I'll post the, uh, the 
part number in the uh, description below. And with everything all buttoned up, um, all the coolant transfer back a little low because that was leaking originally. So we're gonna fill it to right in the middle of the cold fill range and we should be good to go. I'm just gonna to top it off with PI water because it's already got clear, clean cooler. Mm -hmm. 